Happy Color Snack Sunday, guys. So today I wanted to sketch a zebra cactus and then use the brush show again for the color. Because it's gonna um, have a really cool effect. So to sketch the zebra cactus, it's essentially kind of, it's made up of like um, these C curves. So you can start with one. Now draw your C curve and then draw another C curve right inside of it. And then do the same on the other side. So these will be your cactus branches. So you can just keep adding. Then in the middle, um, it'll be more of a elongated kind of like C curve like that. Yeah, and so the zebra cactus does have like these really uh, pointy little tops. And then adding the little the smaller uh, leaves in the middle or, you know, in the background of the cactus. So they can, um, you can have a couple of bigger ones as the base leaves and then the, the other ones can be a little smaller since they're essentially, you know, further away. So you'll draw them um, skinnier. I might add one more over here and maybe one more here, like another big one. Like that. Okay. So next I will grab my, so I'm using two brushes. I'm going to start with the bigger uh, water brush. I'm going to add add water onto my shapes. But I will, so I'm gonna do, you know, I'm using the bigger brush for these larger ones, but in just a second, I'm going to switch to, oops, it's dirty. going to switch to the, the smaller uh, water brush because these tiny little pointy tops are going to be hard to sketch with with a thicker or um, a bigger brush. Alright, so make sure you have plenty of water on your shape and now we'll add the brush -o. so I'm using the blue brush -o as well as the yellow I'll start with the yellow at the very top I think you can of course uh, alternate uh, switch it up but I really I like the look of uh, yellow yellow tips and then Adding the blue at the very bottom. So I'm taking my smaller brush again and I'm going to just elongate these shapes a little bit more and just kind of outline them again or the ones, the parts that I missed. I'm pulling in the little, the little brush o colors in there. You can always wipe it off on a on a towel. Uh, wipe off your brush if you're switching colors. So like here, I picked up picked up some colors here um, of the blue, but I wanted yellow, so I'm just gonna. Wipe off my brush. All right, and 
And then on the bottom, I can also add these lines so you could see you could see the the cactus branches a little better spend as much time or as little time as you want on this because I think it already looks cool but I just want to add a little bit more dimension by going over these lines and enunciating the branches a little bit more so since um, I picked these colors because blue and yellow, you know, they make a green. So together blended, they kind of look really cool. Adding this in between yellow and blue, green that you can get. And so a zebra plant typically has these little ridges. So if you clean off your brush, a little bit you can add a little bit of texture which is kind of hard to see here let's see I'm going to just pick up some blue because that will work the best and add just like little zigzag lines on branches because the the original you know zebra cactus it, it's green but it has like little white uh, little white lines hence why it's called a zebra cactus so they're like little wavy ones like that and they they follow like the entire shape of each of the branches What I love about brushes is that you can you know, pick up some of the pigment here and there from the little granules of the powder. So I'm just, I'm, I'm tapping or dabbing my brush onto the, the little blue crystals and just adding a couple more lines. But otherwise, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, subscribe to my channel and make sure your notifications are on so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much and I hope you give this tutorial a try. Brush show is super fun. I highly recommend it. Stay creative, my friend.